Hey everybody, let me show you one of my favorite features inside vCarve. What I have before you is automatically nested a uh, set of uh, cell phone holders that I cut out on the CNC plasma cutter. And I want to show you how easy it is to get this set up correctly. So I'm actually going to hit cancel on this and uh, start a new file. And I'm going to make it 48 by 48 by 48 and I'm going to export this as a DXF file so I actually don't care about the thickness and I'm going to say import vectors and I'm going to grab my individual file for this so you can see how I've done the whole thing so here's my individual file what I need to do is take this file which right now is broken into a whole bunch of open contours and I actually need to select it and hit the join command to take the 11 open contours and make it one closed contour. I have to do a similar thing on this one, but this one I've got multiple objects inside one total part. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to group them together. So now I have the option of being able to uh, select and not have these parts float all over the place once I try to nest them automatically. So I'm going to select both of them. And down here, I'm going to say nest selected objects. And uh, I'm going to set my tool diameter to 0 0.055 because it's about 55 thousandths is the kerf of the plasma cutter. And then leave an extra clearance of 0.1 in between. I found if I did less clearance, sometimes uh, the plasma cutter actually got some, um, got some feedback and would end up crashing because it didn't detect that it was cutting metal. And I'm going to leave a border gap of 0.2 uh, just in case the material is not completely square when it's loaded in. It gives us a little bit of grace there. I'm going to tell the part that it can rotate up to 5 degrees. I could do 1 degree rotations even if I wanted to do that. So I can say 1 degree rotation. And I'm going to nest along X. Now with each of these parts selected, I'm going to say that I want, let's say, a classroom set of 30 and say apply and then preview and it's going to automatically with those parameters populate a nest of 30 of these on a sheet that's four foot by four foot and it's as easy as that so i would say okay and the last step i would do would be to select all these again say file export and then export the selected vectors as a dxf file and i would call this like cell phone stand with S30 nested and then go on over to my plasma cutter and find that file and load it up in a sheet cam to program it.